Welcome to this month's edition of Portside with the Pilots. I'm your host, Jamie Hudson. Believe it or not, this January marks the one year anniversary of our show. So thank you for tuning in to our 13th episode. Here's what we have in store. Coming up, a behind the scenes look at the UP women's basketball team's road trip to Los Angeles over Christmas break. Plus a lesson in handball from two University of Portland student athletes. You throw the ball to the outside attacker and he catches it in midair and throws it into the goal. Also a look back at the best of year one of Portside. But first, the University of Portland men's basketball team took part in the re-established Far West Classic at the Moda Center over the holidays. The tournament was last held in 1996 and this year's version was co-hosted with the Oregon State Beavers. The pilots split their games with Weber State and Cal State Fullerton. Here's an all-access look at the Pilot Hoops experience from the tournament. Good afternoon and welcome to Moda Center. It's day two of the Far West Classic. Portland Pilots glad to be a part of this proud, proud tournament, the Far West Classic invite. It's big time. I've played in it a couple times before, but I mean, never in an environment like this, being in college and all, and having so many people actually come to the game. It was, it was really fun. Mighty God, we pray for strength tonight during this series of games. Help us play hard, help us to play with heart, help us to play with focus and passion. Lord, keep us healthy on the court and bring us to victory. Taylor driving down the left side of the lane, bounce pass to Barreno. He lays it up and in. Presley right in the middle of the lane, little right hand floater from 10 feet is good. Playing at the Motor Center is fantastic. For the team to play in this uh, event is, is just great. We look forward to doing it for years to come. This is a, a fun event for us. We are committed to doing this again next year. And then again, we'll be back here in 2017 um, for the full night media birthday party. Go Pilots! Pilots! It's really fun. And to be in this tournament, it's it's really special. And, and we really cherish the opportunity to play here. Wintering chases the rebound. Outlet to Presley. He's all alone. Beats him down the lane. Lays it up and in. It was great. It was a great venue. You know, it was pretty cool playing in the NBA arena. I know all the guys were excited about it, so it's just a great experience. The Portland Pilots with a victory here to end their Far West Classic run 65-60 over Cal State Fullerton. Nice work, fellas. Great job. Great job. If you stick together and you're resilient, uh, show some grit and just get after it, we'll be fine. We're a good basketball team. The UP women's basketball team opened up their West Coast Conference slate at LMU and Pepperdine before Christmas. The trip included some quality time with one another as well as dinner at the home of University of Portland Board of Regents member Amy Dundon Berktold and her husband, Jim Berktold, UP class of 1963. And we were there every step of the way with the team. Well, it's a good introduction to WCC's coming down and playing Pepperdine and LMU. It's a good experience for our six new kids to kind of get their feet wet with WCC play, knowing that every game is tough. Going on trips like this gives us an opportunity to really spend time with each other and get to know each other when it's not in the school setting, not on the basketball court, and it's just kind of relaxed. And especially around the holidays, it's great to just kind of appreciate who's around you, even if they're not blood related, but they're a different type of family. It's awesome coming home to play and starting off here. I get my family here, you know, for not just support for me, but for the team as well. So I think that's really, really awesome. And I think the team loves it as well, just as much as I do. We're really appreciative for Jim and Amy to welcome us to their home and have fabulous dinner and, and just allowing us to have some downtime, allowing us to kind of put your guard down and talk about, you know, different life experiences and where you're from. We really do love you, Pete. We sure do, don't we? Mm -hmm. This year it's particularly special because it's at Christmas time and 
they're away from home and it's great that we have the house all decorated and uh, able to share it. It's really nice to get a sense of UP in a completely different environment, especially all the way down south in California. They've opened up their doors for us during the Christmas season, which is more than we could ever ask for, and we're just all really grateful for that. We appreciate everything that they've done for the UP community and for hosting us here tonight, and it's just helping us to become closer as a family within the team, but also within all the people that contribute to the University of Portland. We're great Cooper girls, we all care about each other, and it's just a really fun time to get to play basketball with them, but also just to get to know them as people because you're around them so often. The team is basically like my family away from my family, and I think that's really important to our program as a whole. And, you know, with that chemistry, we will grow through our game and through everything else, and it'll be really beneficial towards us in the final stretch. Coming up on Portside, a handball demonstration from two UP student-athletes. There you go.